Hi guys, yes, it is Jackie again, wearing the same top that I've been wearing in the last two videos. Why, you ask, because uh, I'm recording these one right after the other. For, I, I have still some other stuff to show you, and that's going to be probably not till tomorrow. I think I'm just about done after this. Now, so my daughter and I, like I said, we went, we went today and we went shopping and uh, we had lunch at this place called Tate's and it is del very delicious food we had uh, they make a homemade tomato soup that oh, just to die for and we had buffalo chicken wraps and we were good little girls we didn't get any desserts or anything although they do make all their own homemade pies and cakes which are extremely awesome and very well, very reasonable. So for Thanksgiving, I might just break down and let them do the baking for me. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Now, we also went to the Goodwill. And I don't know. I got lucky again. And it was half price day for seniors. Yahoo seniors. My daughter was excited because she put her stuff in my cart and I paid for it. <laughs> no, she paid me back though. Anyway. The weird thing was, there was so much stuff. We were both like going crazy because often we go in there and there's like nothing there, but there was a lot of stuff there. So, with that said, I am going to be crinkling and dragging through the uh, video. I got these. These are brand new and they had a whole bunch of them. Uh, I believe they were a dollar forty-nine. So I mean, take on for seventy-five cents. They're black roses. I thought they would be very cool to use for things or, um, picture, for Halloween. And they're they're made of wood. Thin, thin wood. They're really, really cool. I thought that would be really cool in a purple vase. Now all I gotta do is get a purple vase. So I got those. I got oh, I got this. I got I got a book and uh, it's one of the 50 shades of gray books it's free don't judge I hadn't read it actually I've only read the first one um, I got this I have a pink bedroom a guest room and I thought this would be like really nice on the dresser I the room I also have done like in its antiques it's like shabby chic and I thought it'd be nice in the dresser to have like some little, um, you know, lotions and stuff like that in it. I thought it would be nice. If I don't use it for that, I can always paint it and put it in my room and use it for something like that or whatever. But I thought that was a good deal. It was $1.49, so I got it for $0.75. Cents. Um, I got uh Ron's always taking silverware to work and it gets lost or somebody else takes it home sometimes he's bringing home silverware that I've never seen before and so I bought three forks and three larger spoons because men have big mouths I didn't say that did I I hope I hope I didn't say that loud anyway I got them they're normally 19 cents a piece, so whatever half of 19 is, so we'll say a dime a piece. I thought that was a real good deal. And there's, these are nicer ones I kind of picked through, and these are heavier ones, so maybe they'll last them a, a time or two. Okay. And then, I am a basket freak, or as uh, Kathy would say, a basket whore. Um, this was two ninety nine. dollars I mean, this is a big basket. And I always have room in my organizational things for, and it's a, like a twig basket. It's a really nice one. It was two ninety nine, so I got it for $1.50. Nice big basket. I also got this picture, and it, it says Warren Kimball. Um, there was two of them. The other one was a barn, but I liked this one because it had the little white church. 
it is a winter scene it's real long and skinny and I thought it'd be great for like a very narrow wall or maybe in my guest bathroom I thought I would put it in there for, at Christmas time and during the winter I thought it was very very pretty and it was $3.99 so I got it for $2 uh, I got some clothes which my daughter and I both end up with six tops so she got some really adorable t-shirts but she's a lot younger than I am anyway and they were like they were brand new most of them I can't remember what brand they were but they were like brand new so I got this sweatshirt which also looks brand new I don't think it's ever been washed and um, I think all the tops were $4.99 so we got them for $2.50 so this is just a plain black sweatshirt I got. I figured I could use it, um, you know, with anything in the winter time. Uh, this I got, I thought was real cute, still while it's still warm. I thought that was real cute. And Becky actually picked this one out, that's my daughter. And this I thought was very pretty. It looked cute on. And I got this sweater. These are always nice to put over a short sleeve top when it's, you know, cold out in the wintertime. Then you're still not, like, baking. It's real thin. It's one of those, um, you know, that they're tapered in the, they're longer in the front. I thought that was very cute. And last but not least, I wasn't, like, thrilled with the color. It's like a maroon, dark maroon, I believe. But it was, it looked nice. It looked very nice on. Um, it has like kind of flared, I thought, sleeves. And it has like an embellishment on the sleeve. I don't know if you can see that. And also on the neck. It's like a V-neck. And it has this, in the same color, but this embellishment. And it looks very dressy. I thought that would be nice for church or something like that. I just wish it was a little different color. And then I got, last but not least, um, and I believe that last shirt I showed you was an Aero Postal, which is a nice brand. This is a, uh -huh, LA Blues, and it's just a zip-up hoodie, but I thought I could wear it, you know, with just like a little tank top or something underneath. I thought that was real cute as well. So I got all that, and then I got some glass stuff. Let's see. Hopefully it all survived the mad rush. Um, I have a lot of um, old vintage stuff in my kitchen. I have blue and white stuff, but I also have like roosters and chickens, mostly roosters and stuff. So I found this, and I believe it's just like a little old planter. It was a dollar forty nine, so I got it for seventy five cents. But um, I thought it was real cute. I know the glare is not the greatest here, but it didn't have any nicks or chips or anything, so I thought that was very cute. And um, I actually bought this for my friend. She loves Pyrex and stuff and vintage glassware. And I thought with the holidays coming, this would be kind of cute. Maybe she could use it, you know, for candies or fruit or something. But it's milk glass. And it was $2.99, so that means it was only $1.50. And I also got this for her. It looks like a vintage um, shot glass, because you don't see them as pretty anymore. But it's like... Uh, etched on around the sides and it says California in gold and uh, she likes to collect shot glasses so I thought that was real cute and for my blue in my kitchen I got I thought this was false scrap but I don't see it signed um 
By the way, the shot glass was, I think, a dollar. I'm not sure. It might have been less. It, it wasn't marked, so I didn't know. But, yeah, I think this is false graph on the bottom. Uh, it was 99 cents, and I got it for, so I got it for 50 cents. And I thought that was very pretty. I mean, it's real nice, heavy. And last, I do believe, but not least, is something that I, I never do understand when people donate stuff, why they donate it real dirty, but it definitely needs a cleaning. But I thought this would be adorable in my bedroom. It was 99 cents. It's just a little bird because it's brown, tan, and my room's going to be brown, and I'm have teal accents, and I thought just sitting on the shelf in a little corner, that would be real cute. I'm going to have a big wooden shelf going across uh, one of the walls. So that is my haul. Now, I did have one other thing I was going to show you. I had a garden this year, and um, several times in um, my videos that never went through, uh, I was showing you stuff. Well, I got this tomato. Now, these are how all of mine have been this year. Like freaks with, I kept saying globules. They have these extra, they look like they have tumors on them. Now, if there's anybody out there that's a gardener or knows anything about this, could you tell me what in the heck has caused this this year and what can I do to avoid it? Because um, I never had this problem before. And I mean, they've grown real big and everything, but they're just odd. So I'm always having to cut off. Sometimes there'll be like three globs together and I'll just have to section them to eat them. So they're kind of weird. They taste good, but like parts of it just won't ripen and stuff like that. Or only half of it will ripen. It's very odd. So if anybody's got any ideas out there, I'd really appreciate it. So in the meantime, uh, until tomorrow, you guys have a great night. And I think I'm going to do some homework tonight. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you have any comments. Thanks.